get 25% off all Financial Edge online courses by using the code AFSAL25 at checkout. Industry follows the journey of five graduates who enter the gruelling world of working for an investment bank. Some of them work on the trading floor whilst others work in the investment banking division. But what could possibly go wrong? Industry takes us on that journey. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So, HBO commissioned the BBC to create a new series on what it's like to work for an investment bank. This, I'm sure, is going to be of interest to a lot of you who are either students or graduates interested in working for an investment bank, regardless of the division of the investment bank you're applying to, as well as individuals who aren't interested in banking but they've heard the horror stories of the long hours, poor work-life balance and the pretentious personalities that can be present in the world of banking and finance. The first episode came out on Tuesday in the UK and I think it came out the day before in the US. I'll link it in the video description below so you can check it out. And I'm gonna be doing a reaction video which I'll release this weekend, maybe on Sunday. So if you wanna see that, make sure you turn on post notifications if you subscribe to the channel. So this new series has eight parts and it follows five graduates who have entered the most prestigious investment bank in the world, not saying any names. Three of them work on the trading floor and two of them work in the investment banking division. Obviously, they all wanna succeed, they all wanna perform well, and they all wanna earn lots of money along the way. However, things don't seem to go as planned straight from the get-go. Most of them are faced with obstacles along the way, as well as prejudice and their own personal challenges like imposter syndrome, for example. You've got one of the guys who is an Eton and Oxford graduate, and then on the flip side, you've got one of the graduates who grew up in an underprivileged background, went to state school, and so he finds it a bit harder to kind of fit into the banking environment. If they don't perform well and manage the internal politics, they risk being fired, which they don't want to be. However, one of the graduates ends up leaving the show in episode one, which is based on a true story, but I'm not gonna say any more on that. So that's it from me in terms of hints. It obviously always helps to find a senior mentor or a sponsor that will back you when things get tough. And so the lucky ones of the five graduates manage to find a mentor who will help them and have their back when the road gets a bit rocky. However, a mentor isn't gonna be enough if you wanna succeed at Pierpoint and Co. Each of the graduates are gonna need a mix of hard work, perseverance, grit, and hustle in order to climb the ranks and succeed as a graduate at this grueling investment bank. By the end of episode one, we see how each of the five graduates lives and daily schedules have been changed and kind of thrown out the window from what they expected by joining an investment bank and i don't think any of them expected what came their way or is yet to come their way over the next seven episodes so what i want you to do is watch episode one i'll link it in the description below whenever you have an hour spare watch it check it out see what you think and then i'll be doing a reaction video i'll release it on sunday and then you can see my opinions on how much of it is real, how much of it is fake, how much is glorified, so on and so forth. So make sure you tune in to see that. If you don't wanna miss that reaction video, make sure you hit the subscribe button with post notifications on. That way you'll get notified when the video comes out. And if you've seen it already, let me know in the comments what you thought of episode one. I'll see you on Sunday, peace.